Let's talk about No Time to Die, the upcoming James Bond 007 movie. This was set for release in the UK and internationally on April 2nd. It was set for release in the US on April 10th, but it was just announced today that they're pushing the movie out to November. So in the UK and the rest of the globe, it's going to come out November 10th. And in the US, we're looking at a November 25th release date. In a statement to Deadline, who reported this news, MGM, Eon, and Universal, the three studios behind the movie, had this to say. MGM, Universal, and Bond producers Michael G. Wilson and Barbara Broccoli announced today that after careful consideration and thorough evaluation of the global theatrical marketplace, the release of No Time to Die will be postponed until November 2020. The film will be released in the UK, blah, blah, blah. We already know that part. So they didn't say it explicitly, but the assumption is that this is due to the coronavirus. So in China, nearly all movie theaters have been shut down. And in other markets like Japan and Italy, a lot of theaters are being shut down. And it's kind of a funny article because you can see how careful they're being to not say anything that's going to spread any further fear. So, for example, the Deadline article says... This is purely an economic decision, we understand, and not one based on growing fears over the coronavirus. So I don't really know what that means, because the reason why the movie theaters in China are shut down is because of fears over the coronavirus. And therefore, the economic decision is let's delay the release. Uh, they're, they're kind of, it seems like they're acting like they're comments about coronavirus are like so much more important than the government or some other entity <laughs> they're worried about gaining like growing fear by delaying their movie it's kind of funny yeah exactly and the article goes on to say i've heard that the move for no time to die should not be perceived as a concern about the safety of theaters outside of areas where public health officials have restricted or recommended against attending public events and it's exactly what you said like i'm not taking the pulse on this this uh on the coronavirus based off of when james bond is coming <laughs> out you know yeah <laughs> But having said that, I guess now that this is the first projection I've heard for when coronavirus fears should subside, right? If they're putting the movie in November, that says we should have this thing pretty well taken care of by November, right? If we're going to take uh, MGM as <laughs> as the, uh, the messenger and all this. Yeah. Now, there's going to be a ripple effect from this. So if James Bond is leaving April, that opens up a spot where maybe some other movies will move to that weekend. It's also going to possibly push some movies out of November because if No Time to Die is going to come out November 25th, that's a pretty big movie to compete against. So I'm assuming we're going to hear some announcements about other movies that are moving into April or potentially some movies moving out of November. I also imagine if this is a real concern, then other movies will probably follow suit. I'm assuming that No Time to Die is not the only film's release that will be affected by the coronavirus and by all these international markets where movie theaters are being shut down. And I'll say, I mean, this is a pretty big, a pretty big deal. I mean, movies get delayed all the time, but usually not movies that are this big, especially not so soon before the release of the film. I mean, this was just uh, a little bit over a month away. You know, if they didn't want to increase concerns about coronavirus, they could have just made up a, another reason why they're delaying it. <laughs> That's true. And especially if, and if you're going to not say it's because of the coronavirus, don't do it in such an obvious, we're clearly dancing around the truth kind of way. <laughs> or, or basically saying, this is definitely not about the coronavirus. <laughs> okay, everybody? Why Don't are you worry. winking? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. When I first read this, my immediate thought was, we don't know what the villainous plot is in No Time to Die. So what if the enemy in that movie is using some kind of a biological weapon and the studio is worried that this is just not the time to have a movie with that plot? That's an interesting theory. 
Yeah, but it's pure, I want to make it clear, that is pure speculation on my part. I have absolutely no reason to think that. But if it's right in November and it turns out that that is the case, I want to get credit for it. (laughs) I'll remember. (laughs) All right, good. Anyway, I think that's about all we have to say about No Time to Die. We'll uh, keep an eye out and see what ripple effect this has on the film industry.